Let's have a tour, shall we? Brian Lebo here, and I'm very, very excited to show you this house today. Now look, I love nothing more than a big single story home. And this one, there's a reason why I selected this house to share with you. I love master plan communities like Summerlin, Green Valley, but this house is something that you would never be able to build or find in those areas. Maybe if you spent $7 million, but this is unique. We're up in the Northwest and this is a location where people come to build custom homes and basically build their dreams. And this is a very specific dream that I can't wait to share with you. It's awesome. Like we normally do, we're gonna start in the kitchen, but first let's talk about the flooring as we walk. The flooring here is 24 by 48 inch porcelain, seamless throughout the entire home, except for some of the bedrooms, but gorgeous. All right, now let's check out the kitchen now that we made it here. Now, first off, the, <laughs> the main thing we have to discuss, and I hope it shows up on camera, this island is massive. This is a 10 foot long slab of quartz. Again, it's massive and it's just one slab. It's not bound together, just one singular slab. Full custom, so we have a two and a half inch relief. And of course, we need the obligatory waterfall. So we have a double waterfall. But all the cabinetry in this entire home is all custom cabinetry. It's absolutely exquisite. You have to appreciate in person to really, really determine and ascertain the quality level. But what's neat is underneath this island, because of the custom cabinetry, there's a cavity for all these doors that goes literally halfway into the island. It's incredibly deep. So you have an abundance of storage here. Now, first off, a lot of times we see mix and match appliances, not here. Everything you're gonna see is GE Monogram top of the line. So of course we have our 60 inch Monogram refrigerator, gorgeous, gorgeous, as well as another one that we'll see later. Coming around this way, we have the continuation of the quartz counter surface, the same as the island, but we have a gorgeous, gorgeous backsplash. This backsplash is actually Calcutta marble hexagon inlaid with a glass tile. So it actually really ties everything together really well with a counter surface. But let's get back to the cabinetry. Now we have chrome pools, but what's really neat, I mean, you can't even, re I can't even reach these upper cabinets. The ceilings in this home are 12 feet high, and these cabinets extend to almost 11 feet. So again, you have plenty of storage, you're just gonna need a ladder to actually reach those Christmas plates. All right, coming over this direction, more monogram. So we have a 36 inch grill top. If it was a cooktop, you wouldn't have the controls in the front, that's what makes this a grill top, really wonderful. We have a pot filler option, and then of course we have the matching 36 inch GE monogram ventilation hood. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I'm a simple creature and I love my little simple fun. So I love nothing more than a built-in microwave. So without further ado, ooh, ah. Yep, we got a built-in GE Monogram microwave here. Coming over, we have a beautiful chrome faucet fixture. And of course, we have a GE Monogram dishwasher. Further coming over, you'll see over here, we have a beautiful GE Monogram double oven. Gorgeous, gorgeous, state of the art, very nice. Now over here in the pantry area, massive pantry, massive. We have a secondary refrigerator, you know, your beer fridge. And then again, tons and tons of room for storage. All right, now let's check out the family room area. Now, you can't miss this. I mean, when we're getting into the custom home territory, especially modern custom homes, you have to have a slider. This is a really neat system. So even though it's not a pocket system, this is great. It's a 15 foot slider. We have deploying solar shades. And what's neat about this system as opposed to others is this door opens just like a normal door. So you can choose to use this for ingress and egress, or you can blow the whole thing out. Really, really functional, really neat, more of an accordion style. Now we have nice custom floating shelves here. But let's talk about the media wall. So on the media wall, we have a beautiful stone veneer. So it's a white and gray raw quartz stone veneer. This is an 85 inch television. So a pretty large TV. So to give you a size of scope, this is a 72 inch electric fireplace. One of the more nice ones, as you can see, kind of a frameless design, really elegant, really nice. And it's even flanked with the matching quartz hearth that we saw in the kitchen. All right, now let's come over to this area because this is really, really neat. And there's a few things that I want to discuss. Now, because this is the bar area, what I love that they did is 
If you look above, they made a drop down ceiling tray and then they painted it a really dark navy blue color. And it kind of denotes the actual space that is over here. So it's a really elegant way to create a living space without actually having to put up any walls, partitions, etc. But we have the bar. So again, we have a custom fabricated counter surface, the same course that we've seen everywhere. But here, instead of having a two and a half inch return, here it's three and a half inches. So it looks monolithic, beautiful, and a wonderful, wonderful job. Trust me, I'm in and out of these homes all the time. A lot of times I can't show you how bad the fabrication is. Here, splendid. Again, more custom cabinetry, the same matching uh, quartz counter surface. And then this is your bar area. So this would be cool. So this is where you put your top shelf liquor that you want to display. Maybe some, uh, you know, nice top shelf tequila. And other than that, nice pendant lights. One neat feature is this, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this entire home has surround sound literally everywhere. Of course, it's gonna be in the family room. So in this family room, you do have 5.2 surround sound. And I'll start pointing out these other areas that you wouldn't expect to have surround sound. Now, over here, what's really neat is next to the bar, this is a built-in wall subwoofer. You don't see it very often, but it's a nice way to get away from having a big unsightly box for a subwoofer. Really, really neat enclosure. All right, now that we've seen this area, let's head down this hallway where we can check out the primary suite and there's something really cool. So stick with me, uh, cause <laughs> there's something that we have not seen going on. So real quick, Right here is the primary suite, but before we go in, I wanna show you what's adjoined to it, really neat. All right, coming in this direction, have you seen a laundry room like this? This is insane. This is the laundry room. So first off, we're gonna show you over here. This is just cute, you know, laundry company, but we have custom cabinetry flanking both sides. And I love what they did just making this rod here for all your clothing that you wanna hang up. Again, what an incredible laundry room. Obviously we have our stackable washer dryer, but dig this. Not only does this have a sink, I mean, laundry rooms have sinks, but a sink in the island, that is next level. I mean, this, I do, 26 to 30 loads of laundry as a single guy. This is like heaven for me. <laughs> I know I'm well domesticated, but this would be awesome. Now coming around more custom cabinetry, same quartz countertops all the way around. I mean, it's, it's almost obnoxious how much room you have here. Just a plethora. But this is kind of neat. So like I was saying earlier, this whole home is a smart home and it's on surround sound and it's all automated. So this is the brains of the entire system. And over here, you can see on this monitor, there's surveillance cameras, closed circuit TV everywhere. And this is the brains. This is where it all goes down. Over here, this iPad is one way to be able to control the surround sound in every single room. Really, really neat. All right. One of the, oh, that's right. I started getting a little ahead of myself. Now, normally I don't really show off garages unless there's a reason to show off the garage, but here we have a reason to show off the garage. This is a beautiful garage, which I don't say very often because garages are not beautiful. So of course we have cabinetry, but these are beautiful. These are like a shaker style cabinet that should be in a home. And yet we have them over here. Now coming along, we have the epoxy floor, we have more cabinetry, and you can see we have two tankless water heaters, which is incredible considering the house in the, the house itself is only 3,300 square feet. So you are good for days when it comes to water pressure. We have the water softener system, but check this out. <laughs> if you're a car guy like me and you wanna detail or do something, you even have a television here and above me are two speakers for surround sound. So you literally have surround sound in your garage along with HVAC function. You have a door that's exterior to go out to the backyard and even throughout this entire house, you'll see there's an abundance of charging options. So we have our 240, so if you have an EV, you can plug in right here. It's currently covered. But again, glass doors for the garage, it's beautiful. And even this, this is just a beautiful design. Even over here, you have three windows going towards that front entry of the house. Just kind of beautiful to have a garage with this much natural light. Really, really neat. All right, now let's get back to this primary suite. All right, back in the laundry room. Now let's check out the closet, because this is gorgeous. Now we come into the closet, 
As we're in the primary suite area, now we have carpet. So it's a little bit quieter. It's a little bit softer on your feet, but what a beautiful closet. Um, I don't know what else to say. Beautiful chandelier, custom closet, fantastic. Not to mention we have all that storage space in the adjoining laundry room. Now let's check out the bathroom. All right, in this bathroom, Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned, there's surround sound in the laundry room. We have surround sound here in the, in the bathroom as well. So coming over here, we have the same quartz. They love this quartz, so it's everywhere. Same quartz, same custom cabinetry. This is floating and it's illuminated. So underneath there's lighting, so really nice and subtle at night. Love this mirror. So we've seen this plenty, but a beautiful LED illuminated mirror, nice wall sconces. And even in here, even the toilet closet is neat. In here, you even have custom cabinetry and a shelf, so kind of neat. Now, the showers in this home are next level. This is a nice shower, but when we get to the secondary showers, it's, it's pretty incredible. Now, first off, we have a zero entry, so seamless floor entry. So the shower pan is at the same level as the surface of the entire bathroom. But coming in here, if you watched the last video, Hey, check this out. I actually fit under the shower head. Big points. <laughs> All right, we have a beautiful 12 by 24 inch tile. It's kind of like a linen, so it's a light gray, kind of has a linen look to it. We have the same quartz that we love as a bench stool, cut out for all of our products, but here's what's neat. Over here, we have the Moen controller. So again, you can wake up and tell Alexa, make the shower 103 degrees, rock and roll, we're good to go. We have handhelds over here and here, and we have a rainfall shower head. So it's a perfect, perfect bathroom, perfect, perfect shower. Now this is actually super, super neat. We've seen floating tubs and this is a beautiful, elegant floating tub, but it's kind of like, I was going with the Humpty Dumpty tub because it looks kind of like an egg. But what's really neat is this is a matte finish. Instead of your glossy, this is matte and it just kind of gives it just a different aesthetic. Beautiful chrome accents for uh, the water feature. And then over here we have his, so the same matching counter surface cabinets and illuminated mirror. Perfect, perfect bathroom, right? All right, coming into the primary bedroom, we have a nice, simple bedroom. So recessed lighting everywhere. We even have recessed lighting over the bed individually, so that way you can have a light for you or for your partner individually. Uh, now, one of the things we're gonna discuss in this property is this. Um, all of the doors in this entire home are solid core doors and they're eight feet tall. So they're monstrous doors and they have a very heavy weight to them and good for sound isolation. Again, these are the things that you would never know from a listing. Most people probably don't even feel them when they're touring the home, but really nice and much more expensive. All right, let's come back down this hallway and now let's kind of go back to where we started. So now we are back in the entry area, but check out this office. Right off the entry, we have a beautiful office. We have French doors with glass, but look how great this is. We have the same Calcutta course that we love, um, but here it's great because you have basically an area for two people to work. So tons of counter space, all custom cabinetry, plenty of space for two people and their monitors. We even have a coffered ceiling. And of course we have two speakers. So if you like to work to a soundtrack, you're hooked up here. And of course the whole house has shutters. So I forgot to put that in. But now let's check out some of these secondary bedrooms. Here's the first bedroom. Now, one thing we're gonna discuss, this entire house is all uh, comprised of Nest thermostats. So very smart. I have the same ones at home, love them. But what they did here is next level. Over here, you'll see a puck. So each room has its own temperature sensor. So if you're a little bit more sensitive, you can adjust the AC exactly the way you want it. All right, again, pretty simple, not much to discuss. It's a secondary bedroom, but it is a suite. So over here, we have a walk-in closet. We have the same countertop, same uh, cabinets. This is a beautiful mirror though. I love that this one has a radius on the edges instead of being a 90 degree angle, just a little different than what we saw. Now. This is what I wanted to get to. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shower. So here, again, this is a secondary bedroom, but we have a zero entry 
just like in the primary. We have a little bit of a different type of linen tile like we had in the primary, but check this out. We have the same mowing control system. Beautiful shower features, but again, no one spends money on a shower control system like that. Typically you'll see it maybe in the primary suite, but no one ever does that for secondary bedrooms. Really neat, and that's the virtue of building your own home. In fact, the owner of this property is the one who built the home. So I like what you did, pal. All right, now check this one out. This is a great secondary suite. So first off over here, we have kind of like a little, I don't even know what you would call it, but you could put an espresso machine. They got a Keurig right here. You do have a uh, refrigeration. So this is kind of like a little apartment, if you will. And even over here, they labeled the temperature puck. So just so you know, in case you're inquisitive, just a nice spacious bedroom. And then of course it is a suite. So we can come right into the bathroom. Same deal, same countertops, same custom cabinetry, beautiful, elegant mirror walk-in closet and this shower again a little bit different but the same zero entry a different 12 by 24 inch tile really really beautiful i love what they did in this shower and of course we have the mowing control system so again these are things like you're just you're not going to see these in normal properties that's for sure all right now that we've seen the secondary let's wrap up the inside of this property and I'm going to show you the powder bathroom before we head out and check out something really, really cool. And this is something that you wouldn't find normally in a master plan community. This is next level. All right. First off is the powder bathroom. So this is the powder bathroom that your guests would be using when they come over. So again, stock and standard floating shelf. This has illumination, same cabinetry, same counter surface. But this is a little bit of a different mirror. Instead of having the LED strips around the perimeter, this one's back illuminated. So this would be really, really nice when it's darker, like in the evening. And then we have a beautiful, beautiful, elegant tile. My OCD is symmetry. I love that they put two pendant lights. Now we're good to go. All right. We have seen this entire house, 3,300 square feet, but there's another 500 square feet that we gotta check out. So without further ado, meet me in the casita. All right, now we are in the casita, or this could be a pool house, however you wanna look at it. <laughs> Normally when you have a casita, you know, you kinda skimp, you save some money, but this is awesome. So if you have, you know, a child that's in college, or you have like a mother-in-law that you don't like and trust inside your house, you can kick moms out here and she'll be all right. It's a joke, people don't get offended. All right, so this would be basically your family room area, as you can see evidently by the display. And then as we come over here by the kitchenette area, right here is where your sofa would actually go directly across from the television. Now let's check out this kitchenette. Even here, we have the same quartz counter surfaces that we had inside, still two and a half inch custom. Here's what's crazy. We have custom cabinetry in the casita. Again, it, I wouldn't have had a problem if they went with like a cheap prefab shaker style cabinet. It's a casita. But even here, custom cabinetry, the same 24 by 48 inch tile, like literally no corners cut. So we have a nice dishwasher, we have a nice sink, chrome faucet that matches the one in the kitchen, and we have a refrigerator. What's even neat is you have your own laundry here. So right here we have top of the line LG stackable. So it's an all-in-one unit, even this they didn't cheap out on for the casita. All right, now let's check out the actual bedroom to this. So we have the same Nest thermostat system that we had in the, uh, the main house. And then this is your bedroom. So your bed would go here. We have a nice television on this wall, but let's check out this bathroom. Did I miss something? <laughs> um, all the TVs are included. Oh yeah, yeah, one, one other factor. All the TVs that you're seeing, they're all included in the sale of this property. So bonus, ding. All right, now we have the same set that we've seen a million times at this point. So beautiful mirror back illuminated, quartz counter surface, custom cabinetry, we got a walk-in closet, but even this shower, come on, man. Even this shower, we've got the same shelf. We have a zero entry. We have a beautiful 12 by 24 inch linen looking tile. And of course we have the Moen controller. 
Again, it's crazy that you did that in those secondary bedrooms. It's even more crazy that you would put that in a casita. So no expense is spared. All right, guys, we've seen the house. We've seen the casita. Normally we'd see the backyard, but I can't wait to show you this. We have another separate garage that can house an RV. It's a thousand square feet. You can put five cars in there. Let's see what you could do with a thousand square foot garage. All right, guys, this is a thousand square foot garage. Forgive me, I am sweating. I'm sweating more than Trump waiting on his next indictment. All right, clearly you can see this garage door, but this actually can accommodate a full-size RV. So this can be an RV garage. It's currently set up as a workshop. I'd make this my basketball court and some cars, but check out this size. I mean, again, it's a thousand square feet. There's people who live in homes smaller than this actual garage, insane. We've got four speakers up here. And I mean, look at this over here. Even in the workshop, you got four speakers, you got a 75 inch TV, all the surround sound. It actually is climate controlled. I just didn't, I wasn't smart enough to turn that on before we started filming. But again, for a garage, this is insane. And as a car person, this is absolutely my dream. All right, we have seen this insane garage. We've seen the house, we've seen the casita. There's only one thing left to see, and that's the backyard. So. Meet me back outside because it's about 100 degrees in here and it's 110 outside. So watch some more sweat and let's check this out. All right, now let's check outside. Obviously we cleared out the slider so you get a little idea of that indoor outdoor living, but let's check this out first. Now above us is a massive patio cover and we've seen wood veneers. This is a little different. This is kind of neat. So this is like an aluminum siding veneer for the ceiling. We do have two surround sound speakers and over here you can see this bracket so you can have a display so you can eat al fresco and still watch the game. Kind of neat. All right. Now let's check out this direction. One thing to mention is the flooring, the same 24 by 14 inch flooring that we have in the entire inside of the home also is the exact same that comes outside. So again, the perfect indoor outdoor look it, when it's broken up, it doesn't have the same effect. So thank you for getting that right here. We have a beautiful two way fireplace with the same stack stone veneer that we had uh, for the media wall. All right, coming over this direction. This is kind of cool. So here's our outdoor seating area. This would be so pleasant if it weren't 110 degrees in the shade over here, but we have a nice like 65 inch display. What a great place to be hanging out. Tons of shade. And honestly, even though it's 110, it's kind of manageable over here as much as it could be. But check this out. Now, a moment ago, we showed you that thousand square foot garage. That building right there is that garage structure. And over here where you see the uh, cinder block wall, that's hiding all the pool equipment. So very nice, very out of sight, great execution. Now we have this beautiful looking gray teak deck. Really, really cool. Just gives it a different kind of effect than your normal concrete. I love it. But this is what we're talking about. Come on. How amazing is this pool? Now, the truth is, is you couldn't even build this pool today if you wanted to. The limit is 600 square feet for a pool now in Las Vegas. And just this one part of the pool is about 600 square feet. So this is massive and it is gorgeous. So we have one, two, three, four sheer descent water features. And then we have this massive Baja deck. I mean, it's massive. You could get eight chaise lounges. And I can't tell you how bad I wanna be filming this from inside the pool instead of looking at this pool. Very welcoming, very beautiful. So let's come check out a little bit more. So back to where we started, you can see the family room over here, but this is a really, really neat area. So here we have a sunken conversation pit. So we have a gas feature so we can have, you know, a little conversation around the fire. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the mic, but this is amazing. We have a reverse infinity edge for the pool and it's so calming just hearing the water descend down into his reservoir. Really, really cool. So at night when you can hear the water and you got flames and a good conversation and one of those bottles of tequila from your top shelf, that's what's up. All right, let's head over this direction a little bit. Complete privacy, you've got no one behind you but a dirt lot. And again, over here, check this out. We have another massive Baja duck. So again, eight more chaise lounges. This is just an incredible pool, incredible. 
Now, more seating area over here, but check this out. We have artificial grass that is fantastic, top grade. It looks like real grass. And this structure behind me right here, this was the casita that we just showed you moments ago. And if you can look a little bit past there, we have another area with grass and then a door for uh, RV parking. So just an incredible backyard, tons of space, tons of fun. Guys, let me know what you think. We saw the house, we saw the massive garage, saw the casita, and now this incredible backyard. What was your favorite feature of this home? Because there's so many things that I absolutely love about this. This is truly one of the most livable and beautiful properties that we've shown. And for two and a half million dollars, I hate to say two and a half million is a bargain, but for what you get, it makes a convincing argument to leave the suburbs and kind of be over here. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to the listing agent. She was a sweetheart and I really appreciate the time and conversation that she spent with us. Stay tuned, we've got more property tours. In fact, we've got coming up in a couple of weeks, we have a $15 million dream home that we're gonna show. It's beyond incredible, nothing like we've ever seen. All right, click to subscribe, click to like the video. Please share this with all your friends and family and I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.